so day one is done. Um, yesterday we got, we started, I think somewhere between 12 and one, closer to one from the Linville parking lot and rode up. Uh, sadly, I missed the turn or just shortcut the turn. So we did a few extra miles um, before turning around to do the, to get to Fontaflora, which is great, but we only stayed for about one beer. So um, we were definitely kind of racing the clock because we'd gotten a later start. We rode out to Fontaflora County Park, rode up from there and um, started hitting the Forest Service roads, which are still really overgrown in late September. Um, till the last big climb of the day um, that got us all the way up to the campsite tonight, or last night, uh, which was great. It was a good spot. Um, slept really well. And so today we're looking at getting like, say 40-ish. If we can get to 80, that'd be pretty good. Um, get one big climb behind us and then kind of have one climb tomorrow and then downhill on the parkway. Um, and that should be it. Table Mountain? Yep, yeah, started up at that. Table Rock? Yeah. yeah, at the head top of a Table Rock road or whatever. We flew down that hill. Yep. And then, and then it was just rolling for a while. Yeah, it was rolling for a while. Nothing real big, nothing real small. Took that left, I'm glad we didn't miss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And kind of rode through. Yeah. A little bit of weeds for a while. Then eventually, came out Wilson's Creek, right? yeah, then came out of Wilson's Creek, which was nice and easy. Stopped at the trading post, or no, stopped at the information center, which has nothing but information. Went past the trading post and got to the Betsy's, which was awesome. And we ate all the junk food. We did do that. And then got up to, then climbed up. I think we went up Roseboro, I think. Um, and then got to a good campsite before Big Dog and his owner came along. So then we had to go about a quarter mile down the road to a different site. So now today we have, what, 22 miles left, or maybe a mile in now, and one big long five mile climb. And then the parkway back to uh, the parking lot.
I just got done with the uh, climb up Roseboro to the parkway. Um, and I got a couple minutes <clears throat> so I can walk through my packing. So this is the All City Gorilla Monsoon Apex. I'm gonna say 38, and then in the back I think 42. It's been good enough. I think I could have used some extra gears on a couple of those climbs, especially the Roseboro one, which is no joke, but it hasn't been too bad. Um, full frame bag here in the middle. Um, inside this pocket, I've got first aid kit, uh, headlamp, um, my bike repair kit, um, things like that. On this side, right now I don't have much of anything except my tent. So in here I have my um, Big Agnes um, bike packing model tent, which is perfect. It just fits right in there, which is terrific. I got my gloves in there now. Um, Revlet Designs feed bag sitting there. Uh, it's got all my food, holds my in reach right here so I can let people know where I'm at. Uh, quick shout out to Oak City Cycling there. Um, up front, basic um, Von Trigger lights, they work well enough. And then the Garmin 530 with the battery pack on it, which has been phenomenal. Um, it's kept it charged up for days and also charged my iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max um, up once before it was out. It's been great. Um, and then the up front, I have the rack here that is the uh, Surly 8 pack. Uh, which has been terrific. Uh, mounts perfectly and then I have the Revlet Design Salty Roll, uh, which is perfect. Held up with um, some Volley uh, rack straps, which have been uh, amazing. Um, they're terrific. Uh, this thing's been solid and bulletproof pretty much the whole time. Um, I don't really have much in the pack. Uh, I have um, a REI chair and a pair of my shoes which have come in handy when I crossed Steel Creek a little while ago. But other than that, pretty light up front. Uh, then in the back I've got the Surly rear rack um, which has also done well. Um, another salty roll with the volley straps holding all my clothing. I've got a couple of uh, the layers in there, down jacket, things like that. Inside here, um, sleeping bag, the REI Magma. Uh, my cup and the uh, um, stove down there. And then on the other side is where I had food, which I'm out of now. Um, so no worries there. And so it's mostly empty. Um, so a little bit of food left, trash, um, you know, essentials, credit card wallet, flask, um, and my sleeping pad, the Big Agnes, um, which has been good. Um, and then right here, just odds and ends on this side. Um, keep my phone in there, anything like that. Otherwise, it's been pretty much almost a perfect bike. The other, my other two guys are riding with um, Surly Krampus, Sizz Krampi, um, and they've been fantastic. I think it's definitely the right bike for this trip, but the uh, All City has done perfectly, really happy. And now I'm on the parkway. As you can see, that Roseboro climb is no joke. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. Um, just use your gears and keep turning the pedals.